Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Coffee Break Podcast. I am your host, Melissa. And I'm your co-host, Elisa. Hello on this hot day of summer. Yep. Super hot. It's mm-hmm. actually getting a little bit annoying of how hot it is, but I guess I should be used to it, but <laughs> I just don't like the heat. I just don't like the heat. I don't like summer. <laughs> I don't like um, it at all. I do and I don't. I just like the brightness, but anything else, I'm like, eh, no, take it back. Give me winter <laughs> back. Yeah, I'm more of a fall person. Yeah, me too. I prefer fall because you get a good in between. Some days it's hot, some days it's warm, and some days it's just a cool breeze. Yeah, really cool nights. I like them. Yes, those are the best. Mm-hmm. For those of you who don't know who we are and you're wondering why we're talking about the weather, well, let me tell you a little bit about us before we continue on this marvelous podcast. Mm-hmm. We're those two friends who finally got together for a nice cup of coffee or water or potato wedges <laughs> <laughs> after a long week of work or being stuck in quarantine, working from home, doing whatever you have to do. We indulge in combos of entertainment, environmental news, and even current events. And sometimes we even get to discuss our hobbies, because everyone needs a bit of time to vent, and you know what I mean? We also do a Coffee of the Day segment, where we select one type of coffee or tea and give you fun facts or recipes to make them. So let's get a brewing. So today's Coffee of the Day is from Hong Kong. Oh! Yeah, we never talk about a Hong Kong coffee. No. And this one's a, it's pretty interesting. I like it and I kind of want to try it. So <laughs> I'm probably butchering this, but it's called a Yuan Yang. And that's Y U A N. What was that? A N G. Yuan Yang. Oh, okay. Right. Um, this is a mixture of like their black milk tea with strong coffee and they have condensed milk in it so it's a popular drink wow my voice sorry it's a popular Mm -hmm. drink in hong kong made from a mixture of coffee and hong kong style milk tea la 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 the name refers to mandarin ducks which appears in pairs Mm -hmm. and the male and female ducks are very different in appearance and it's like the yin yang kind of thing oh okay yeah in the same way coffee and tea are very different but the combination is lovely oh the most popular teas to use are the highly caffeinated Assam and, oh gosh, Kailon, which, when paired with coffee, makes for a drink with a serious jolt. So if you need to wake the freak up, that's a drink for you. <laughs> so, not for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not for you. For me, yes. For you, no. <laughs> so what you're going to need is one cup of strong brewed coffee, one cup of water, well, two tablespoons of black tea leaves, preferably Assam or Kailan, like we were talking about earlier, and a 14 ounce of canned sweetened condensed milk. Now, I'm not saying put the whole 14 ounce in there. I'm just saying get your 14 ounce of sweetened condensed milk on the side. <laughs> so, what you're going to do for your milk tea is put the water and tea leaves in a saucepan and bring to a gentle boil, lowering the heat and simmer for three minutes. Remove from the heat, add the sweetened condensed milk. Not the whole thing just a little bit, and return to the heat to simmer for an additional three minutes. This will make sure to condense milk evenly with the tea. Now, strain out the leaves. Get rid of them. Throw them out. Don't want them anymore. You don't want to drink that. Combine one cup of the milk tea with the cup of coffee and mix thoroughly, and you got yourself a coffee milk tea, pretty much. Which I'm down. (laughs) Anytime anywhere so yeah that's what you do that's how you make it voila bada bing bada boom would you try this melissa i would try it i pretty much try almost everything we've talked about except for maybe some of the egg ones (gasps) (laughs) how dare you i know i cannot be friends with you anymore (laughs) i know your favorites are the egg ones yeah they're all my favorite because i had a few (laughs) egg lattes and they've been pretty good so I'm not really complaining (laughs) so you know anywho 
yeah, that's our coffee today. What is our segment for today, Melissa? Our segment for today is our like I guess update on art that we've been doing recently and some of the stuff that I think that you've been doing also because you entered a was it a competition or it's a challenge a challenge yeah yeah um all so, right <laughs> yeah, we're gonna talk about <laughs> cool beans cool beans yeah. for all you fanatic artists just like us I think this would be a good episode for you guys to get some cool resources and tips and all that stuff I mean yeah. we're not that great but you know we know our ways around the yeah. art world now yeah from sheer tooth and nail from and sheer tooth and nail. <laughs> trying to stay on top of things yes <laughs> And just trying to keep our skills up there. Tricks. Yeah. All those fancy smancy stuff. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, let's talk about what you did uh, for your challenge. What What was the challenge exactly? And where, uh, where can we check out what you did on there? So if you're a character artist or an environment, like me, or an environment artist, whether it's from 2D to 3D, I would suggest you go to artstation.com to post all your artwork there because a lot of professionals go on there and they seek artists or they post up jobs. So if you want to work on a game company or an animation company, that's the place to go. I just like going on there because it's a big community of artists and I like to get inspired on it. Yeah, and so. also you can get a lot of um, advice uh, and critiques. critiques. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, very, uh, very good community on there for sure. It a is. lot of positivity and encouragement from uh, the majority of the community so I really like that site but I haven't been posting anything in a while I so. just started <laughs> posting so it's fine yeah. <laughs> I literally yeah. like I looked and um, they always had these challenges it's been going on for two years now mm -hmm. um, and I haven't been back in a while but I used to do their challenges I did one a long time ago for a 3d character um, it was like under the water, like theme, like sea creatures. Yeah. Um, that was difficult because of my first human model. And then I realized I don't want to do 3d anymore. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I know. Right. It's the best thing ever. <laughs> um, join a, join these challenges and you will realize what you really love. But, um, yeah, so they do it every three months or so because they, they give you a time frame of a month or two months, and they you follow their critique. So for this one, it was called Lightbox, a uh, box of mystery. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it was um, funded, and it, uh, I forgot what they said it was, but it was funded by, like, Photoshop, Adobe, Procreate, mm -hmm. and all these, like, other... Um, Companies. Let me pull it up really quick so I can give you a better okay. accurate information about it because this one was different because um, Wacom um, funded it and it's yeah it's like Wacom, Procreate, Adobe, Kitbash, 3D, and Infinite Painter and they donated materials for the winners. Um, so for this one, it was I joined the character design, so I would have to make six characters that fit the briefing of a box of mystery theme. And I had to create six characters and one each had their own little um, trait. Like I had to make a brave, I had to make a um, leader, a joyful, a mischievous, serious, and a wild character, which oh. the lead and wild character took me forever to do. <laughs> um, so you kind of had to like make characters that fit in a group um, and tell a story through just your drawings. Um, and I wanted to be a little bit different and go with, like, a dessert route with it. Uh -huh. So I kind of made, like, a... I was showing Melissa all my um, work in progress. <laughs> but I had, like, a donut witch, a, um, a chef leader, a dongo, brave warrior. Um, so I had all that on there. I'll set a link if you want to check it out on my entry. Um, but anyone can join. You have to go in. You have to have an ArtStation account. You, you join every week. You have to upload on your portfolio. And it will show you how to do it. 
um, a work in progress. And throughout the way, um, the judges who are people who are in industry or one of the members from like Wacom or something like that, mm -hmm. they give you like critiques and tips and stuff like that. Mm, and okay. you get to see other people's challenges. Um, it can be 2D or 3D. It used to be before where they would do three months of 2D and 3D will come and it will pick. Um, they can pick from the previous 2D artists to make a 3D model mm -hmm. um, or they can make their own. But now they just put it together, I think, for this challenge. I don't know if it's like change period oh. for it. Um, yeah, so it was pretty cool because like you before they made it like eight to ten characters. Now they made it six because they were like, uh, no one can get this done in the month. Yeah. <laughs> So they were like, oh, okay, we're just going to do a six. So they did a six um, characters. And, um... More manageable. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I joined one a while ago, like, years ago. And uh, I couldn't complete it because they they wow. asked us, like, they asked us to create, like, 12 characters in total. But it was like one was like a good group and the other was a bad group. Oh, I remember and that one. I think yeah. it was like a Western theme. I don't remember entirely, but I it was so difficult. Yeah, I was looking into that and I was like, cool, that's all that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they the good thing about these challenges though is that they have three prizes and then like three places. And then um, five honorable mentions. So, um, yeah, you only get, like, with lesser things than the people who, like, won. But it's pretty cool. You still get cool stuff. Um, so, yeah, I decided to join. And I was, like, I wanted to show more of a character design um, for my portfolio. And it's just a good way. I got a lot of good critiques throughout the challenge. And people, like comment on it and they like help suggest things to you and you can check out other people's um art as well mm -hmm. so it's pretty cool yeah, yeah. that's awesome yeah yeah um i'm i'm thinking of jumping back into uh doing the challenges and stuff but uh i don't know something is still telling me like uh <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I'm not ready yet. I don't know. I think sometimes you just gotta jump in because I was like that too. Yeah. Yeah. And then I started looking at other people's stuff and then I was like, oh, I'm kind of getting inspired and then mm -hmm. I just went with it. That's good. I'm like, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> gonna come out great. It's gonna come out bad. Yeah. I I don't know. That makes me nervous. <laughs> I I know, right? It does make me nervous. But I think for your style, though, I think you're getting a lot of attention, though. Like, a lot of people are going to go to yours with, like, how whimsical it is. You think? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, like, I'm surprised a lot of people looked at my stuff and gave me comments, and I was like, oh, snap. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm not used to drawing full body. I'm just used to yeah. portraits and stuff like that. And um, just used to, like, sticker designs and graphic designs because that's what I was doing for a while. But then I was like, I want to go back to character designing. So, yeah, this was a good challenge to do it. Yeah, yeah. I think you should at least try the next one. Um, yeah. Even if you don't accomplish all the stuff they're asking, at least, you know, you're like, oh, I did it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah, do it. Know, do seeing it. your stuff was really like kind of inspired me too. I was like, oh, <gasps> oh I inspired. <laughs> you did. It's a you miracle. Did a thing. <laughs> I did a thing. Holy cow! I did it. I did it, guys. Yeah. So you're doing commissions now. I am still not doing commissions because of like the same reasons. Just sheer nervousness and uh -huh. I don't know maybe I should just I jump the like, gun yeah jump the gun and just like start up a new website because yeah. 
I mean, I'm like, thinking of moving my website to someplace yeah. else. You should go to ArtStation as much as, like, I'm not trying to promote them or anything like that, but it's literally just a $10 down payment for your yeah. website. And um, you when whatever you upload on ArtStation goes to your website. And um, it's and easier. you can open a market on there, right? Yes, you can. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, so if you guys want to sell stuff, um, we're looking at <laughs> the logistics of it. Um, and I'll, if you guys are interested in that, I'll share it with you guys. But I'm trying to figure it out for us, too. Yeah. But yeah, you can <laughs> sell stuff on there. I think, yeah, you just have to jump the gun because if someone gives you a commission, they love your art. And, I mean, I, I think you do great. <laughs> I try. <laughs> I'm her own hype lady. <laughs> Hi, lady. Hi, lady. Yeah, I mean, I I knew the first commission I got was from my friend who gives me my nail like art. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> she wanted the logo for a thing, and I was like, sweet, do I get a free set of nails? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay. And then um, she shared it with her other um, group members, and now they're all like asking me to do something, and I'm just like, sweet money. <laughs> I'm like, keep it coming, keep it coming. Good. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm happy with it. I, um, I, know I was nervous because, like, when I drew my friend's, um, drawing, it was like 1 a.m. in the morning. So I was like, I, I know. Right when you're just like drawing away, and you're like, does this actually look good, or yeah. am I just? Uh, being I've been myself? staring at this for too long. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, right, yeah, you're like, oh, wait a second. But I've been seeing you um more active on your art Instagram. Yeah, a- that's that's where I post everything. Honestly, Instagram is my my go to place to like post things. Yeah, it's been working though. Um, I'm just right now. I'm working on a a draw this on in your style project mm-hmm. I think the one that you sent me about like the ice creams oh the animals yeah have, yes. you, got, have you gotten started on that I have not no because <laughs> no, I don't know what to do I'm thinking I know about I don't animals. either but I'm just trying th- like I'm just trying yeah. things out and seeing uh, what I like what about your animals at home yeah Three? No, you have four. But you can do four. I can do like literally all my cats. <laughs> oh, you can't. Oh, you should. And then you should put who's the one that runs away from me all the time? Wednesday. When I, I knew it. Wait, you should put Wednesday on the very bottom. All oh, mad. <laughs> Trying to escape. Grumpy. Yeah, grumpy. Like, mm. <laughs> Yeah, you should tol- totally do it. Yeah, I, I, like, I don't know. I think that was just a little too easy. And I want to decorate it, like, like how they do in Japan, like, the the desserts in Japan that have, like, the pockies and... Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> so that's kind of, like, where my brain has been going, like, mm-hmm. the, the really fancy dessert. But at the mm-hmm. same time, I still want to keep it, like, a... In a cone. Yeah. They do have those. Look at um, takoyaki. Those are good inspirations because they they do still keep with like the pocky um, sticks in it and everything like that. But it's like in a cone kind of yeah. way. So, I mean, you can check out those kind of designs to see how it looks and how much they compact into a cone shape thing. Um, and then I'm, I'm also thinking... trying to stay within a theme too. For so... <laughs> so I'm like it's kind of having I'm having a, sort of a hard time but I'm I'm pretty much done with the final sketch of uh of my design. <clears throat> awesome. Yeah. We, um... I can't wait to show it show you guys. But lately I feel like I've been just running out of time. I don't know why. <laughs> But you've been doing so much already. And I've been working at the same time, so I'm just, like, trying to squeeze in, like, my own work along with my work. It's, mm-hmm. yeah. And then I'm also trying to take care of myself. True. true. 
that's like the number one thing. You want to take yeah. care of yourself, but you want to do what you want. <laughs> You're like art or self care. My art is my self care. Yeah. Just like, yeah. Same. Yeah. So like at least mentally. <laughs> I know, right? Mentally. Um. I I'm thinking of doing for that like a tanuki animal. I don't know if anyone watched the BNA anime, but that was pretty inspiring. And there's a tanuki in there. <laughs> hopefully I'm saying it right, but they look tanuki. like raccoon dogs. Have you seen that anime with the tanuki girl? <laughs> yes, that's BNA. <laughs> yes, I watched yes. it. I bitch watched it yesterday. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> she, she was great. She was kind of annoying, but great. <laughs> it was... It was a good show. I was surprised. Yeah, so anyone that wants a new anime, watch BNA on Netflix. Yeah, it's really good. It's like a better version of the other show that came out that was like also about like half animal. Beast Star? Like animal. Which was it? Beast Star? Yes. It was just a that's better a version whole, than that. One. Yeah, that's a better version than Beast Star. <laughs> that's a whole nother genre and whole nother like. It was just weird, dude. I I was just trying to watch some sort of anime at least, and I'm and I watched that one, and I'm just like, this is interesting, but it's but no making me uncomfortable. Yeah, <laughs> it did that to me too. I was like, whoa, okay. And everyone's like, no, 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 it's actually really good. I'm like, y'all fools. <laughs> no. Yeah, I. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's it's. It's a, the, yeah, it's a good show. BNA, what, what was it? It's like DNA, yeah. but BNA. Yeah, BNA. So that one is actually a pretty good show. We should talk about it in another episode. Yes, that would be A little be bit great. more in depth. Yes, we can. That will be another one of, like, updated anime <laughs> list. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, um... Some tips we like to share with our friends. Um, if you're ever stuck in an art block, you don't know what to draw. I think a good, um, that's why I started sending these things to Melissa. These draw this in your style. Yes. If you're on Instagram, follow so their hashtag. Helpful. They are very helpful. Um, I've done a few. I've done one for my friend. Like, I actually talked to her. I'm not just saying that to sound cool. Um, <laughs> on Instagram, her name is a Tally Sketch. Her um, first draw this in your style was my first one to do. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then I just followed a bunch of BT draw this in your style, and that's all I've been getting. I only did one, though, but still. <laughs> <laughs> um, Those are good ways to be like, if you have an artist block and you don't know what to draw, but you're like, I just need something. Um, doing those challenges really help. And they also help you with your... um your Instagram account if you need, like, if you want more followers or something. Mm -hmm. Right. And that's something that I've been running into, like, a little bit of issue with is mm -hmm. uh, the growth on my account is not, um, it's not, like, it's, I'm getting followers. Mm -hmm. And it's, and this is kind of weird to talk, for me to talk about, just because, like, the, the whole mentality aspect is, for me is kind of, I don't know, it's just weird and uncomfortable, but it's something that I know is necessary, mm -hmm. like, just to, you know, like, becoming someone on social media is very weird to me right now, but mm -hmm. I, like, I'm enjoying sharing my, my work, and I think that's the biggest part that I'm mostly focusing on, is just being able to share about, share my work and talk about uh, people's art and uh, help people and inspire people like that's something that I want to focus on with my art <clears throat> but mm -hmm. I know that I need people to follow along on this like art journey that I'm on and and I'm enjoying that um, that's good yeah and so like doing the draw the, uh, the draw this in your style is really helping me a lot mm -hmm. uh, so I'm really happy that you send me those. Yeah. They're I'm very glad. helpful. 
Yeah, when I saw a few of them, I was like, this is so for Melissa. That's why I sent them to you. I'm like, she's going to have so much fun drawing these. And you also want to pick something that you know you're going to have fun drawing. And don't pick yeah. something because you're like, I have to do it. Because yeah. a lot of people who um, run the Draw This in Your Style Challenge, um, yeah. they feature it on people's um, their stories yeah. or their Instagram. And they give winners. Just don't do it just because you want the exposure. Because... You could get that exposure, but it's like I mean, are you the exposure is great. Yeah, exposure. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Great. The exposure is great. Yeah, but that no, shouldn't be your whole reason that you're doing it. I yeah, think it should definitely be to grow as an artist, to try mm-hmm. doing something in in your own way. You know, like that's I think that's one of the reasons that I liked it so much is because I uh, we get that chance to experiment. Uh, doing things, something something else that are already done and giving us that permission to do this in our own style. Like, yeah. That, that creative freedom is so great. Mm-hmm. And I, I like those who, um, they give you rules and um, regulations like, yeah. okay, like you can do this, but you have to do this and this and this. Um, you can change the gender, you can change the color, it just has to be presentable and it's still the same way and then there's yeah. some I've seen where they're very strict where they're like it has to look like her in a different position and I'm like yeah. I get that yeah. um yeah I like those too I like the little rules here and there because yeah. sometimes I feel like some, I lack guidance and yeah. I need like a rule to like push me into the right direction and same. uh and that helps a lot same so like definitely if you're like in a block just do some of these Instagram challenges and there they it'll help you get out of that rut. I trust me on this. No matter yeah. no matter how like terrible you've been feeling about doing art or just uninspired, if you try it and it helps you, like that's the the more reason why you should be doing some of these um, challenges because it helps you in the long run. Yeah, that should be like the job- main yeah, it makes your brain jog up and get like your muscles going and your your the memory of like uh, how how you draw things and stuff like that will start jumping back into um, yeah. into your brain. I'm yeah. hoping, yeah, like when I get to a certain amount of followers, I want to do my first draw this in your own challenge. Yeah, um, because I have been Same. getting a good amount of followers in a good pace and I'm just like sweet thank you and they comment and I'm like you guys are real thank you very much for being real (laughs) um so yeah and I it's funny because I have the the hashtag follow my Instagram so all I do is bookmark all these challenges that I'm like because I only I do the ones that are deadline because if I don't have a deadline I'm not going to do it and that's not a thing against them it's just me I know how I am if I like if I don't have a deadline, I'm going to do my own thing. I don't want to do yeah. um, one that doesn't have a deadline. Unless I really, really yeah. want it, then maybe. But other than that, I don't really do it. So um, I have to, like, I have a bunch bookmarked. And I'm just like, I have to get to these. Because, like, it's cool. They give you, like, a month to do it. Um, but I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, one of them I really wanted to do um, was due today. And I did not start it. And I was like, whoop. <laughs> Ellie, whoop, can't do it. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, so I was like, oh, man, okay. So yeah. I just... For me, what also helps is looking at color palettes yes. on um, uh, on Pinterest. Pinterest. <laughs> yeah. So, like, rather than looking at references, which uh, sometimes I feel like uh, give you more of a mental block, uh, I look at color palettes and things that, like, and that, like, seeing the colors, the color patterns, and uh, how they're set up, and uh, that really helps a, a lot, uh, for me at least. Like, I start thinking of ideas of what would look well with these colors, and I kind of just jump into some, uh, creating something either really weird or something really cute, and it always yeah. works out. <laughs> At least for me, it's been working. <laughs> um, it did help me with my art station challenge, um, looking at colors. Um, looking at desserts helped me a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes, because I get in, like, yes. I like pretty desserts, so. Yes, me too. <laughs> right. I like to draw food. It's 
so weird. It's because it's fun. <laughs> it's fun because it you is. can be a little bit extra with it. Hmm. And it's just like experimenting with like mixing uh, different colors to create something that looks either very realistic or like very like just pretty in general. It's, yeah. It either yeah. go either way and it'll look amazing. Honestly, it's just a really good way to practice coloring. Honestly. Mm-hmm. It is, yeah, because there's different colors in desserts and you can't mm-hmm. put on a human. Yeah. Because sometimes you limit yourself or if you're like me, I made ogres in my um, art station yeah. challenge. <laughs> not ogres, elves. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> and I used this a different color and I'm not used to that. I was like, oh, my gosh, mm-hmm. I'm doing this right. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. I mean, those are good ways to do it. Yeah. It's really, really cool. Yes. It is really cool. Maybe we can do one when we get to a certain um, uh, milestone for our company. We mm-hmm. can do a draw this in your style. Oh, that'd be good. That'd be really that'd cool. Be and then winner gets a prize. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> so a stay tuned for that. Set. You get a, a sticker set? Yeah. Something. We could do that. Know. Or print. Or print. A print of your face. What? <laughs> It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's just your face. It's a print of your face. No. Nobody wants our faces. Yeah. Yeah. But no. I'm, yeah, but I'm still working on some stuff. I've um, I've been trying to keep uh, a more consistent post. Uh, yeah. I don't think I can post anything today just because I'm going to be focusing on doing stuff for the podcast and then on top of that uh the the challenge that i'm doing right now yeah so so i don't have i don't have anything to post uh today like i did yesterday because i did a bunch of doodles and i just posted yeah yes and they look amazing (laughs) get a girlfriend get get it yeah i was messing with brush sets also that like uh if you if you find any brush sets on Pinterest, just save them and you can you can experiment with your own brush sets and test things out and take them to your own liking. That's been helping me out a lot is looking at different brush sets on Paint Tools site because uh, a lot of the the presets uh, they're not that great. <laughs> let's no, not, they're not. Let's not kid ourselves. A lot of the presets are not that great. So and if find- they know it. Yeah, and so finding several on uh, on the in, on the internet is so helpful. Uh, and I ended up finding several that I used in this draw this challenge drawing. So nice. it'll show up Ooh, on I there, to see it. and I post it. <laughs> ah, I can't wait to see Stay it for that. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. Coming to you Stay. from. The closest convenience. So I don't know. Um, I can't wait to see it. I yeah, like looking up other people's. Um, I found one girl called Maddie Arts, and she just came out with a bunch of brushes, and I took some and I adjusted it to um, my likings, and um, and I didn't adjust all of them. I only adjusted one. Um, but like, it's really fun. So, and I've been buying people's brushes because. The uh, things I use are not that great, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're decent, but and like sometimes I don't even know how to use a lot of the the tools to uh, edit brush brushes on um, on Photoshop. So ever since I changed from Photoshop to, even though I still use Photoshop, um, I primarily use Paint Tool Sci for the for the sole reason that I feel like their brushes are just ten times better. Mhm. No, they are. <laughs> I had to get a brush, um, brush set from a friend of mine in college, and I was using that ever since. And then yeah. I got Procreate, and that one's so much better. <laughs> I bet. I yeah. bet. Yeah. No, no offense, uh, Photoshop. Yeah, I really like seeing your um, uh, your speed paints. Oh, thank you. My speed yeah. paints of uh, Elisa's mine. <laughs> thank you yeah I posted one on our um, YouTube if anyone's interested in seeing that mm-hmm. um, and uh, 
Yeah, like, <laughs> I post them mostly on my Instagram, but it's fun, and Procreate records it for me. That's cool. I need to find a program myself. I don't have that. <laughs> yeah, you got to look for them. That's really good. But Procreate's only $10 down. That's oh, it. okay. Yeah, it's not that bad. Yeah, and um, anything else we should share with our friends? Hmm. I don't think so. I think that's it for that's all I have for today. Yeah, same here. I'm allowed, like, I just need to work on a lot of the work in progresses that I have. I just need to finish them. Stop slacking on that. Yeah, and that's I've, the one thing. I've done several designs for an um for a t-shirt company, mm-hmm. and uh, and I did get paid for them, but they never posted them. So I don't know. I might just upload them. But I'll have to act first, because technically they did buy the the designs. But there, I made like three of them, and or no, was it two? And mm-hmm. uh, and they never uploaded them on their site, so I don't know what happened. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. It's so, they're really cool too, but they yeah. are very design. Uh, I bet yeah. That I do. So yeah, any anything else? I think we're good. I think so. Did you want to shout anybody out? Um, I think I did for Tally Sketch and Maddie Arts. Uh, check them on Instagram. They both have Patreons. If you guys want to check them out, um, Maddie Arts is the one that gave me the brushes. Then Tally Sketch is working on some brushes, and they do step by step tutorials, and um. They give wallpapers for your phones and stuff like that and oh. coloring pages. So check them out. They're really nice. Yeah. So, yeah, that's mostly Quan One shout out to. Okay, cool. Yeah, but um, always, this is brought to you by Elite23Shopping.com. Get some amazing art, um, graphic design t shirts or bags or phone cases. We might be doing wallpapers for your phones if you guys want some. That'd be cool. Um, that would be cool. Right? So check it out. Get 30% off your whole purchase if you use code CBP. Again, CBP for 30% off your whole purchase. And if you like what we do here, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more notifications. And, of course, follow us on our other social medias. And Mm -hmm. I think all that information will be down below. Yep. Always is in our comments below. And I just got sunburn. So (laughs) I'm going to go deal with that. (laughs) All right. And I'm hungry. So I'm going to go make dinner. (laughs) Yay. Yay. Activity. Thank you, guys. We will see you in the next episode. If you want any more art tips, let us know. Bye. Bye.